Well, that's me. Let's go here. Okay. Okay, we'll start with questions for head coach Kyra Elsie. Just raise your hand. John Wong. Kyra, Alabama presents some unique challenges. They're a uh, senior laden team. They've got a couple of bigs. Uh, what's going to be the game plan? No, Alabama is playing extremely uh, well right now. They do uh, pose a lot of problems uh, for us. Uh, their ability to uh, push and transition offense. Um, Jasmine Walker will be a tall task for us to handle. Um, Jordan Lewis is playing extremely well, getting to the free throw line. You know, the game plan is we got to uh, continue to switch up our defenses. You know, we can't get um, content in just man. We have to mix in some zone, mix in some different presses. Uh, really um, went back to work today on our post defense, our doubling, making sure that we are in the uh, proper position and we're choking um, from the guards. Yeah, you had a lot of trouble with Tennessee's inside game uh, previously against uh, South Carolina, Aaliyah Boston. I mean, you can't teach 6'6 six, six and 6'7, six, but um, what uh, have you thought about maybe playing a little bit more of a bigger lineup? Are you capable of, of doing that this year? Well, we're definitely capable of playing um, a bit bigger lineup. Um, you know, the thing about us, we are versatile. We can change our lineups. And no, um, we can't... Uh, grow anymore this year, unfortunately. However, we can do a better job of our ball pressure, um, proper position. Um, there was some of the times that we were late against Tennessee because we weren't in help to begin with, uh, really trying to push the bigs out. Um, but the guards play a big uh, role in our post defense with pressure in the basketball. Um, we got to bring the help earlier, but also mixing up our defenses will help us. Donnie. Coach, thanks for being on today. You mentioned Jasmine Walker briefly. Um, she's fourth in the, in the SEC in scoring. Um, she's Last game she had like 17 points and 12 rebounds. What is kind of your game plan around her and the rest of Alabama defensively? Uh, Jasmine Walker is very uh, talented. Um, you know, our game plan, we have to deny the ball. Our best defense is trying to keep the ball um, out of our hand, out of her hands. When she does catch it, we have to make her score over defense. Obviously, she can play inside and out. Um, so making sure we're keeping fresh bodies on her. And then we have to finish our defense with a box out. Make her take tough, contested shots, finish with a box out. Maggie? Hi, Coach. Obviously a tough loss for you all this weekend. How have you seen your team respond in practice since then, and how do you want to see them come out against Alabama? You know, it was a very disappointing loss. Obviously not the showing uh, that we wanted um, at Tennessee. However, you know, we went back to work today on the practice floor, and we really talked about um, our ability to be resilient. Um, and we have to learn, get better, grow um, as a team, as a staff. We all played a part um, in, in that loss. So uh, we took that personal. And, you know, where we go from here is we have to lay that to rest right now. And then the next game is the most important game on our schedule. Um, but the things that we talked about is being um, mentally tough. Uh, we let our offense affect our defense. Um, no matter what happens, we have to stay together. We have to lay our hat on our defense um, and then do the things that we know we're capable of doing. We, we, can't, we have to continue to execute. Um, we played a little pa panic, panicked at Tennessee. So when those things happen, we have to be able to battle uh, the adversity. You've got this upcoming game at Rupp Arena. Normally, there would be a lot of excitement this year. It's just kind of like playing in a big empty box. How are you getting your team up for something like that? And what do you expect and anticipate? 
Well, we're excited to play in Rupp Arena. We hate that there's not going to be a lot of fans, um, but we've talked about this all year. We have to bring our own energy, um, and we, we have to play – um, like a team on a mission. We're coming off a very disappointing loss. So, uh, you know, we're going to play hungry. Um, we have to play with a chip on our shoulder. And we have to really uh, take advantage of the things that we do well. Go back to what makes uh, Kentucky, Kentucky. We went away from that. Uh, but part of, I keep saying this, resilience. We have to bounce back um, and get better the next game. Chastity got some more uh, defensive accolades. Uh, I know you've talked a lot about her game this, this year, but you really can't say enough. Uh, can you just really once again tell us what she adds to, to this team? Chastity is ste uh, steady. Um, you know, we know what we're going to get from her. Her ability to score, um, she can score at all three levels. Um, she's an energizer bunny. She can play for long periods of time, and she is going to get a steal or two every game. Um, that's just what she does. Her ability um, to locate the basketball and make steals and, and her speed uh, is just uh, all natural killer instinct. So um, I like what Chastity brings to the table. She's playing extremely confident, um, and we need her to continue to do that. One more thing, uh, I want to ask you about analytics. I mean, this is a year it seems like more and more people are throwing numbers at you. Uh, you're taking all these measurements. How much are you able to incorporate that aspect into, into your program? And how much do you think it's really helping you? I mean, analytics are big. And Daniel Boyce on our staff, um, he is our analytics guy. And uh, he is unbelievable with the numbers. So he's always... Um, giving them to the staff, which they're uh, extremely helpful. So I think you have to have a good balance, though, of the analytics and just gut instinct with your team, a feel, a vibe, um, and you know what you need to do to get the job done. Any follow-up questions for head coach Kyra Elsie? Was that game by by Ryan just a, a blip? Uh, I mean, I don't think she's had a worse shooting game than that. How did she respond specifically to that? And what do you expect going forward with her? You know, it happens. Um, sometimes the ball just does not go in, in the basket. Um, it doesn't happen to her often, um, but it did um, in that particular game. And so one thing that I challenged her is you still have to be able to do the other things, still rebound, still play defense, make sure you're talking to your teammates. Um, but, you know, she was she's disappointed, like all of us, um, but just challenged her. We go back to work, um, and she'll bounce back. She's a competitor. Thank you. Okay, there's no more questions. We'll call it a day. Thank you all.